and living guide. Happy cow. Hi, I'm Patrick Baboumian, and I love Happy Cow. Check me out on veganbadass.com. Hi, my name is Ken Spector. I'm here in Berlin, Germany with Patrick Baboumian. And you may know him as one of the strongest men ever, and he's also vegan. Patrick, nice to meet you. Hi, Ken. Can you tell me a little bit about your uh, transition from vegetarian to veganism, mm -hmm. and what did that do for you? Um, actually, uh, I've been like uh, six years or so a vegetarian before I uh, went vegan. And uh, as a vegetarian, I had some uh, difficulties with uh, some, some health issues and, and so on. Like uh, I had a hard time concentrating sometimes. Um, I had an iron deficiency and, and some other uh, things. And of course, everyone around me was trying to tell me that uh, the problem was that I was not eating meat. That the problem was actually that I was just consuming too much dairy products as a vegetarian. Um, so that was uh, directly uh, associated with the iron deficiency and a lot of other problems like I was over acidized uh, all the time so I had problems with my stomach and so on and all of that uh, those issues went away when I switched uh, from vegetarian to vegan a lot of people uh, think exactly the, the the other way around they think like okay vegetarian is okay and is healthy and vegan is too extreme but it's completely the opposite yeah. vegan is the perfect way uh, and vegan. being vegetarian uh, actually has, has a lot of uh, problems that can develop from, from all the dairy products and so on. But you felt your strength actually increased. Do you think that that was psychological or do you think there was something about the vegan diet that was creating that strength increase? I think it was both. I can absolutely say that um, my health got better when I switched to, to completely plant-based. So my body was not that uh, over acidized. My recovery uh, got better. So I was recovering faster from training and from the competitions. And uh, all of that um, contributed to, to, to my training. So uh, my stats went up. That's numbers. That's yeah. not psychological. At the same time, my motivation got up because I was feeling that now I was really doing the right thing and that helped helped a lot uh, on the psychological uh, level so it was a mixture of both but I can absolutely say that uh, there is a big uh, a big part of it is, is just uh, because uh, a vegan diet is more healthy and helps you uh, as an athlete. What advice would you give to bodybuilders to increase their their strength. In the vegan and plant-based athlete scene, there's a lot of endurance athletes. So you have a lot of endurance athletes also giving the tips to people who uh, who have th those questions, how, how can I do it uh, as a vegan and, and so on. A big problem with that is as an endurance athlete, you have to eat a lot different than an athlete who, who just wants to build muscle. And for someone who wants to build muscle and strength, protein is one thing that is really important. A lot of uh, endurance athletes, they understand estimate the, the role that protein uh, mm -hmm. plays so uh, one thing that I would really uh, tell someone who uh, wants to go vegan and uh, wants to build muscle is you have to um, get a good mix of uh, plant, plant proteins uh, but that's absolutely no problem it's it's uh, just as easy as uh, with animal proteins you just have to have a good mix and one thing that I do is I try to combine um, grain proteins with uh, legume proteins and that works perfectly because um, you get a good a mixture of amino acids um, um, and then you're pretty fine and um, you don't need to eat more protein than, than someone who uh, has uh, animal protein sources or, or anything else. The good thing about it is you have less um, uh, sulfur containing amino acids so that means that uh, your, um, your body doesn't get too, uh, too much acid. It's quite simple. Uh, as far as getting more specific, what grains, what proteins, what, what did you eat today? What do you do on, a, on an average day to become this big and to become this strong? I have started training 22 years ago. That's something that a lot of people forget when, when they think like, okay, this guy went vegan three years ago and, and then he got that big. Um, one thing is, I was already big before I went vegan and I was already big before I went vegetarian. But the important part uh, of it is I even got bigger and stronger right. after switching. And one mistake they do is they think, okay, he, he was already big and then uh, he just maintained what he had. But that's, that's, not, that's yes. not true. So what do I eat? Um, I actually eat a lot of uh, legumes. Yes. Like uh, beans. I have uh, an, an um, or 
oriental background so uh, my mom cooks a lot of oriental stuff and also my fiance uh, does, does the same thing so a lot of uh, things that I eat are uh, from like from the Middle East um, and we have a lot of dishes with rice combined uh, combined with uh, legumes is that brown rice or what kind of rice no it's, it's, it's just like basmati like basmati rice yeah just okay. just plain okay. white rice um, I mean brown rice is even healthier but uh, sometimes I'm more about the taste, so yeah, okay, cool, <laughs> I just cool. take nice. the, nice. the taste here. Uh, um, so, so you have a lot of uh, rice dishes mm -hmm. together with peas or lentils uh, and so on. And that's pretty much uh, the, the, the base of the whole thing. I also eat a lot of tofu, quite a simple way to, to get some protein uh, um, to, to your dishes. And um, then also, like before training, I, I use uh, plant-based protein shakes just because uh, they're like um, pr practical. Uh -huh. uh, and also before training, I don't want to uh, give my stomach too much stress, so uh, it's it's good to have something liquid. And for that, I use plant-based protein sources. And what is the plant-based protein source that you eat in your in your shakes? Yeah, in the shake, it's uh, it's a mixture of pea protein and, and brown rice protein. Mm -hmm. It's just just a blend of of plant proteins okay today for example okay what do you, I just want to go through because there are going to be people out there that are going to know exactly what you do in a day yeah. what did you eat for breakfast this morning and was this a typical day yeah um, and the, the thing is um, I don't have typical days okay. because <laughs> because my life is uh, very unstructured so every day is uh, very different but one thing that remains the same is, is uh, the, um, the the breakfast um, if if I'm at home, I always have the same thing, and it's a it's a um, protein shake together with um, with uh, bananas. So I I have um, like um, soy milk, uh -huh. bananas, and chocolate fra uh, flavored uh, plant based protein, and that's it. How much are you eating though? I mean, the fat. I, I, I eat a, maybe a, a smoothie in the morning. Do you uh, have like uh, you yeah, know, four gallons of smoothie or? I have the same thing. It's just okay. bigger. <laughs> yeah. How much bigger? How many ounces would you say? Um, I think it's like one and a half uh, liters, like okay. like this. Okay. So um, you you know uh, the, the the Vitamix? Yeah. It's it's pretty much full. Okay. The the okay. standard thing. And, and that's your breakfast. <laughs> that's your entire breakfast. Yeah. The thing is, uh, when I get up in the morning, I'm not that hungry uh, in in most cases. So uh, what I try uh, to have is. Uh, um, something liquid just because um, I, I want to get uh, in uh, a lot of energy mm -hmm. and at the same time if, if I'm not that hungry it, it make it's easier to, to have a shake instead of really sitting down and, and having breakfast um, so that's that's the reason why I do it that way did anyone give you a hard time when you went vegan um, I wouldn't say a hard time but the thing is um, uh, it, it was quite funny because uh, most of the, the athletes that I'm competing with, um, they're like uh, all about meat. Yeah. So, so, uh, so uh, a lot of them didn't really understand what I was uh, uh, about to do. Mm -hmm. And actually, they, they n knew me uh, before as a vegetarian, so they knew I was uh, a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> and uh, but then uh, they because the, the thing is that there's a lot of uh, misconceptions about uh, what what being a vegan even means they they really were quite skeptical because the the thing is normally if you don't know a lot of uh, about uh, vegan nutrition mm -hmm. you think it's just about green stuff so yeah. it's like, like uh, you you're eating salad uh, the whole day and lettuce and, and, and stuff like that and greens and um, so they thought he's going to go down <laughs> with yeah. that vegan sure. thing pretty much the opposite happened after the first year um, I uh, gained a European champions title in, in raw powerlifting. Then I broke three world records, so everything was fine. Those who, who like are in the sport for, for a lot of years, they still don't believe. Even, even some of them uh, who, who really know me personally, they don't believe. They're like, okay, I know uh, you're eating meat uh, um, um, uh, in the night when nobody sees it. <laughs> right, right. Which you're not. <laughs> no, 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 of course not. Because in the industry, you, you get a lot of uh, misinformation, yeah. and that's, that's the reason why they don't believe. Um, but a lot of young athletes, they, ju they, they just try it. And uh, that's, that's something that I tell people. I tell them just get the information, then try it for four weeks yeah. and see what happens yeah. and 
nobody of, of all those hundreds uh, uh, that I ga gave that tip, nobody of them uh, told me after those uh, four weeks it was terrible or it didn't work or anything because they all realized that they had misconceptions before, there were misinformation and it works perfectly for everyone. Are there any bodybuilders who you've talked to who you've inspired to become vegan as a result of your great strength increase? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, young athletes actually. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I any, mean, any more established athletes that have converted over that you know of because of you? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But you're working on it. Do you, do you, <laughs> and do you try to inspire other athletes to go vegan too? Yeah, of course. The thing is, I, I don't try to. Uh, one thing that I don't uh, don't want to do because I don't think that it's uh, useful is to put pressure on people. Yeah. But what what I really want uh, try to do is in, uh, inspire people. And also, if I have the uh, the feeling that they are open and they really want to know something, I put a lot of energy uh, into um, giving the information and everything. So I also uh, I wrote a book uh, where I really uh, tell everything about my my own nutrition and how my vegan nutrition works and everything just because I really try to get the information out to everyone. Everything I read about you is this very strong guy who's able to lift 550 kilograms 33 feet. What are you doing besides that? <laughs> um, the one thing is I'm writing books then uh, I'm a psychologist so I'm, a, I'm actually a media psychologist yeah. so um, that, that's, that's what, what I've learned. Um, I'm working as a, as a um, consultant. Some of it has, has to do with media, but uh, other things are just uh, um, like companies who, who try to get into the fitness business. Because the, the thing is, uh, uh, one, uh, one part of uh, my background is uh, in the fitness industry, and the other part of my background is uh, in, in, in the animal rights movement and in, uh, in, the, in the vegan industry that is uh, that is building up now mm -hmm. so I have this connection uh, between the both um, and um, on that basis I, I, I try to um, help people to to build up new businesses and and so on and that's that's my background besides giving interviews and and, and talking about plant-based nutrition what is one trick that you have to really increase your strength if you were to say you know I have one tip for you out there to really increase your strength it could be the vegan diet it can also be a technique that you use to increase your strength what would that be um, one thing is there there are no tricks at all okay. <laughs> but but there is uh, actually one thing uh, what, where I really think that, that it's uh, um, a key to to my success but not only uh, on, on on the base of sports but uh, generally in life uh, it's consistency mm. that the thing is uh, you don't get that that's why I said uh, I, I began my my journey 22 years ago you don't get strong in in two days or so yeah. you really it, that's something that that needs a lot of work and needs just a lot of time to mm -hmm. to build up um, so um, that's that's the main thing if you think that uh, okay now I'm going to start training and then like uh, two years ago I'm going to be world champion that's not going to happen yeah. and uh, if you like go in with with that uh, with that mindset you're going to uh, be frustrated and and you're going to lose motivation so uh, it's really important to start your journey with with the right mindset and just be um, uh, j just consider that uh, the journey is going to be a long one. Yeah, I've talked to a lot of guys, you know, on the street who walk by uh, animal rights groups who are you know pretty big, and they're afraid of going vegan because they're afraid of losing their bulk muscle. What would you say to these guys? Uh, I would say that they uh, really have to inform themselves because the, the problem is all of the fears that are uh, in are just because they uh, do not know what, what, what they're really talking about or, or what, it, what it's really uh, all about being vegan. It's, it's pretty easy for me because I had exactly the same uh, mis, uh, misunderstandings and, and the same uh, misconceptions and it's all about uh, it's only eating greens and it's th these and, and that. Um, and of course, if you like imagine you're eating grass the whole day, it's not going to work. Right, right. <laughs> so um, the thing is, as soon as uh, they got the information, all the fears uh, go away. And then the next step is just try it for four weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, w what should happen? What, what terrible thing should happen in four weeks? Yeah. Um, and like I said, I gave that tip to, to a lot of people and none of them uh, came, came, to, came back to me and said, okay, it was, it was uh, terrible and I lost muscle or anything. It's, um, it's working perfectly if you got the right information before. Cool. What does your future look like as far as bodybuilding, writing books, media? What, is, what does the future look like for you? 
At the moment, uh, we're working on a um, on a documentary project um, called The Game Changers. I don't know if you have uh, heard anything about it. So um, that's. Um, a part of the documentary is going to be a um, world record attempt that I'm going to do. Actually, I already did a world record attempt okay. for the documentary. It okay. was uh, two years ago in Toronto uh -huh. at, at the Vegetarian Food Festival. Yes. Um, and I um, set the world record uh, in, in the yoke walk with uh, um, walking 10, 10 meters uh, with, uh, so it's like 30 feet, I, I think, yes. with um, 555 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Um, and now um, what, what we are going to do next for the documentary, because it, it's got even bigger now and we want to top the, the, yeah. the last thing. So what I, what I plan to do is I want to take the three world records that I have, um, that I have set as a, as, a, as a vegan and I want to try to break them in one day. That's very, the next very thing. Very cool, cool. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. I really appreciate you. your time. This is Patrick Pabumi, and I'm Ken Spector in Berlin, Germany. If you notice, Vegans is behind us as well, and you shop at Vegans, don't you? Yeah, cool. I'm going cool. to. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you, Patrick. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. The Healthy Eating and Living Guide. Happy cow.